Ooh, y'all, I'm doing a surprise live. I should have put it on my community wall. I have got to share this with y'all because I want us to try it. So I'm going to just sit here and wait and see who pops on live. <laughs> This is so random, so random that I'm giddy about it. Hey, what's going on, Sassy? What's going on, Andre? Y'all, I'm doing a quick surprise live. And what I mean by surprise, of course, I didn't announce it. What's going on, y'all? I thought, let me pop in on the people in on a Monday night. Hey, Mr. Adventure. And Mr. Awesome, I'm sorry, y'all, my eyes are still a little bit blurry. I had my eye doctor's appointment, so they finally gave me my surgery date to get this oil block out of my eye. I'm so excited. April the 10th, y'all, April the 10th. Um, Mr. Awesome, and especially the video, you be cracking me up. <laughs> yes, y'all, I had to come on right quick because I have got to ask y'all, have y'all heard about this? I can't hardly stand it. I think it's awesome. Hey, Sassy. Glad to see you, too. Hey, Jermaine Baldwin. Blessings and favors. I thank you. Blessings and favors to you. I receive it. I receive it. What's going on, Antoine? Hey, Meredith. Hey, Andre. Hey, Mr. Antoinette Hampton. Hey, what's up, everybody? Yeah, y'all come on in and chit-chat with me for a few minutes. I promise I won't jog jack long. Well, <laughs> hey, Kenya, what's going on from Texas? Hey, Meredith Lynn, how you been? How have you been, Miss Meredith? How have you been doing? Good to see you. Yeah, y'all, y'all know I'm still on my grind. Your girl stays on her grind. I'm so glad to see y'all coming in. So glad to see y'all coming in. Yes. Thumbs up the video. Yeah, y'all go ahead on and talk with each other. <laughs> Don't y'all hate when some people have gum in their mouth? Should I take the gum out? Y'all at home is where I love to chew my gum because it'd be so good, you know? <laughs> yes. I've been so good. Thank you. Good, good. Good to hear it, Meredith. But anyway, y'all, I wanted to hop in real quick. I'm going to give everybody a few more minutes because I know this is like so impromptu. You look amazing. Keep doing it. Thank you, Antoinette. Thank you so much. Y'all, I'm keep, I'm doing what I need to do. But you know what? I enjoy it. I know it's, you know, I'm, I'm getting to my latter days. I'm getting, what'd she say? No chump away. <laughs> Thanks, Meredith. Yeah. I love my bubble gum. But yeah, y'all, I wanted to come on real quick because, of course, first of all, how y'all feel about um, TikTok? Ooh, I know a lot of people are, 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 are going to be uh, hurting, but I get it. If it's supposed to be for security and all that, I, I get it. If they have to bust it up, always a pleasure to lead peace, my God. Thank you so much. So thank you. Okay, let me tell you what I come on here for. Because like I said, I don't want to keep you long. I know y'all doing y'all thing. Y'all, again, happen to be scrolling through TikTok. You know, they're always putting stuff on your For You page. So I was flipping. And tonight I want to talk about goals. Okay? Y'all, hear me out. Hear me out. I thought, man, that's good. That's really good. So anyway, hey, everybody coming on in. So this guy, he was on TikTok talking about goals. Now he was doing it from a relationship standpoint. Like, you know, if you're married to someone, you know, you have to evaluate some things over some time. Cause you know, as you grow older and get older, you're no longer depending on when you get, got married or whatever, or just in general, you're not that same 20 year old. So, you know, every five, 10 years, you may have grown into a totally different person. Your thoughts, your aspirations, the way you move, the way you handle your business totally changes. And that's really the truth, isn't it, y'all? 
So anyway, he was talking about goals and he said, you know what? Y'all don't need to try this as, you know, whether you're marriage, business, whatever, or your own personal. Write down 10 goals. It says I had set a goal. I went from 292. All right. That is awesome. 155. Ooh, lost 137 pounds. Let me read that. And working on losing another 10 feet. Yep, me too. I'm still working on that 25, y'all. But it'll get there. It'll happen. It'll happen. So, Amy, you go on and you do the daggone thing. Amy encourages me because she makes it be known that, yes. And it's good to continue to speak that thing about your accomplishments, that you've reached certain goals. I ain't mad at it. I am mad at it. Be, be a constant reminder to yourself and to others, yeah? Because it's hard to keep this stuff off. It really is. But, you know, it's just part of what we have to do for our lifestyle. So the guy was talking about write down 10 goals. Let's say let, maybe you don't have 10. Write down five. Again, just start somewhere, right? So you can write short-term goals, long-term goals, and just write them out. And again, y'all you, know me. I'm about the word. Writing that vision and what? Making it plain. So write down your goals. Then and when you when you when you write the goals down, number one is write down the goals. When you write the goals down, affirm them in the way you say it. In other words, speak those things that be not as though they were. Because y'all know when I'm listening to him now, he's talking practical. But you know, honey, that word, that script is. So when you write it, you write it in affirmation. Like, like we're saying now, what we just said, okay, and she's working to lose 10 to 15 more pounds. I'm working to lose another 25 to 30 pounds. So when I say it, I say it in affirmation. I will lose 30 pounds or I will accomplish this degree. I will go to X, Y, Z. I will attain, I will buy, you know, whatever that goal is, I will start my business in such and such on whatever street. I see, I will see my business on ABC street. Name the street. In other words, be very, the buzzword these days, intentional. But the word tells us, write the vision and make it plain. So make it plain. When you are writing your goals, it ain't got to be a whole thesis paper, but you could, when you say it, say it with affirmation, say it in faith, knowing that it is occurring, that it's, it's, it's those things that are being as though they were, right? Speak those things. I'm telling you, it's, again, so you're going to write that goal, write it in affirmation. Then here's, here. And again, I know all of us, we do this, but here was the caveat that just had my brain sizzling. He said, now out of those 10 goals, look at one of the goals, just one. I hope y'all are listening to me. Just pick one of those goals that you think you can perhaps accomplish in a 24 hour period. Take that goal and put it over here. Put it over here on your lap. Put it over here on your knee and bounce on it. Let it bounce on your knee, bounce in your lap. And take that goal and start working on that one specific goal that you know you can accomplish in 24 hours. It could be getting your getting a living will together it could be because that's something that's something else i read up on you know they say when you buy a house you need to have make sure your stuff is in a living living tr trust a living will living trust so if something happened to you and your and you still have a mortgage on your house that if you don't have that spoken for and you leave it to your children then they all have to wait and go through probate and an attorneys it, that's just the process but if you have a living trust, oh, y'all hear me today, then the bank can't say, hey, that 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 uh, title is due now. It's, it's, it's due now. 
Whereas, you know, mm -hmm. with me, I still have years on, on my mortgage. But if something happened to me, they could say, hey, we want this money due now. So now, so if that house is left to you, then left to your children that's safe, for instance, then guess what? They got to go through all that to satisfy what that bank is calling. Not saying all banks to do that, but you have to, that's why when you're signing that, when you're signing a mortgage payment, honey, yes, honey, you better know that all that kind of stuff may be in all that stuff. So again, that's that's just a little sidebar. And it may not be expedient or like that in every state. But again, that's again, that's why that's something you need to look into. But anyway, just again. So again, with your goals. Good evening, ever. Hey, Karen. So when you're writing your goals and then when he said that thing about take that one goal out of the 10. Not saying that you're not still working on the other ones, right? But take that one goal and say, you know what? Out of these 10, which goal can I perhaps accomplish in 24 hours and just eat away? It's almost like debt. They say take the lowest balance first. Attack that one. Then move on to the next highest debt. Right? So it's like from... In this case, it would be from the shortest term goal to the longest term goal. Because we know some goals will take time. It's going to be a process. It's not going to happen in 24 hours. But if you take each one of those goals and accomplish it, just same, same way with debt. Take that debt, chip away at the lowest balance, or chip away at the balance that has the most highest interest rate. You're still having to work on them other ones because you got to make payments on all them other jokers, right? But the one that carry the highest interest rate that you want to attack that, attack that. So the second, so when he said that, I was like, wow. Because I know sometimes with me, because my my I'm a multitasker and my brain is analytical, I will try to do. I'll try to do this. I'll try to juggle the balls. Then I'll try to spin the plate because my brain is a multitasker. So I do a lot of things at one time and I get sometimes stressed and frustrated. Now I'm just talking about me. Whereas Tanya, you don't have to do that because some goals are going to take longer than others. So don't frustrate yourself. Don't stress yourself out. Look at the goal that you can accomplish within that 24 hours. And again, that's just the measure he used. We understand some goals are not going to take 20. It, it may take a week. But the concept is work on those type of things every day. It's almost, and it put me in the mindset again, hey, I'm with you, Amy McGarvey, honey, me, hey, Amy's on it, honey. When I decided and made up in my mind, I was going to tackle my, I was going to deal with my health. I was going to deal with, girl, you need to correct all this damage you have done to your body. You have not been a good, faithful steward over your temple that God has given you. You just haven't. You just haven't. So you need to focus in. So I had to shut everything down because I knew that that was going to require and take the most of my time thought wise, I knew I was going to have to do those y'all for those of y'all who were with me when I had to go to cardiac rehab. And so I had to do, I had to take all that, all that and focus in on that. What that goal that was, a, and, and, and that's considered a long-term goal, but that doesn't mean I haven't been working at the other ones. But when he said that and said, I thought, Oh my goodness. And a lot of times it's hard. I don't know about y'all, but sometimes it's kind of hard to write down things because you're faced. We're talking about the woman in the mirror. Ain't that what Michael Jackson was talking about? And that's what I'm talking about the man. I'm talking about the woman in the mirror. It's sometimes hard. And what does the word tell us to do? Examine yourself. It is hard sometimes to examine yourself. Isn't that the truth, y'all? It is really hard. Try.
trying to examine yourself. It really is. But again, I just wanted to share that with y'all because some of y'all or somebody who may see this video they're on the replay game may say, you know what? Yeah, I can do that. And I thought, you know, how productive is that? Because if we don't have a vision in front of us, then how are we going to be led? Even if it's by our own skill set in the Holy Spirit. So I just wanted to share that with y'all this evening is that, you know, try it. Write down whatever goals that you're trying to attain. Because I'm going to tell you, I have been guilty of writing stuff down and and just totally abandoning it. And we understand life. Yes, life happens. But we'll get gung-ho about something. Again, even with weight loss. But when, but because I have a vision in front of me that says, girl, you got to do this the rest of your life. Because you're getting older and it ain't cute. You're getting older. And you need to get a hold. I mean, you you snap out of it. Get You need to get a hold of your health. Just like you were doing all that stuff, making bad decisions. Again, then choose choose you this day who you're going to serve. It's the same question you ask when it comes down to serving God. You have got to, it's a, see, when Jesus said, Every single day we have to pick up our cross and we have what we have to repent of those things that we do daily. It's no different in, in the natural. Of course, Jesus is talking about spiritual things, but because we're here, because he, we're here on this earth, we're in this world, right? We take those same principles and teachings that God has given us and apply it to the natural. So that's why even in our own everyday life, making choices, we have to make a decision. We have to make a choice. Okay. This is what I'm going to do today. This is how I got to stop the madness as it relates to this situation in my life or that situation in my life. And then too, there are going to be some times you're going to have to, a goal, you, you could write down a goal and say, you know what? I need to, I will say no. I will say yes. In concerning X, Y, Z, whatever your X, Y, Z is. And that way, those visions are right before you that you can always go back to that vision and, ma and make it plain to yourself. What faith come by hearing and what hearing by the word of God. The word of God says, put faith in your thought process in what you do because that's, that's how you're going to please God. And you have to put what the work in. Faith without work is dead. And that's what everything, see, God is concerned about every little thing in detail of our lives. So even when you're doing your goals, even when you're doing your goals, write that thing down and then say, hey, here's a goal right here. Because a lot of times we do, we'll focus on the big ones. Well, we will. But look at the encouragement you will get. If you start on the goals that, not that you abandoned or not still working on the big, big ones, but look at the encouragement you'll receive for self. Not the, uh, the people watching you look, you will see the benefit of it and say, oh, okay, what must I do to attain those things? Or, you know, whatever that is, is. But look at the encouragement you give to your own self, to self. When you're able to accomplish those little goals day by day, week by week, that'll make you feel, hmm, oh, I did it. Yes, the Lord, with the help of the Lord. Isn't that the truth? So it encourages you to go a little further. It encourages you to, okay, that won't as bad as I thought. Let me move on to the next goal. And then when you do that, 
either you're adding to that goal list or you're chipping away and knocking those goals out. But again, I just wanted to share that. Write those visions down and make it plain. And whatever you can accomplish within that 24 hours or 48 hours, what, tackle that and work on that. And you'll be surprised the go-getter spirit you have, that more than a conqueror spirit that you have. If you are just saying, dog on it, I'm fed up. I, I need to lose this 30, 30, 40, 50, 55, 50, 60, whatever that I need, I'm dog on it, gonna get, I will get up at whatever it's time in the morning where you know it's quiet. And you can get 30 minutes in of focused, targeted, consistent movement or exercise. If you, okay, this is going to be my sweet spot. Put that as your goal. Or you know what? I'm going to do better about gossiping, backbiting. Or I'm going to, you know, if you got to, you, you, you know you have to do presentation, whatever those goals are. Again, it don't have to be anything negative. It could just, you know, you're just working on self. Find that thing on that list that you, you know what, I can, I can take care of that. I can take care of that today. If I got to take one day and do nothing but whatever I need to do and make it be something that you do and it don't feel rushed or, because see, I'm going to just tell you, I've worked on it to not be a procrastinator. And you know what? As I practice it, as I do it, I promise you, y'all, there's no better feeling when you are about your business and you're handling your business. And you, it's almost like you, all that time you thought you didn't have time for time, you'd be like, man, okay. There goes some time. There go thirty minutes over there. I didn't think I had because I don't went over here and took care of my business and didn't wait till the last minute and felt that rush, rush, rush. Cause so I can feel like I've done something. So let me let me do it. But no, ain't no ain't no better feeling than when you've gotten things taken care of and you can just sit back and chill. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling you. And I thought, you know what? This is what it's like when you see certain people. My daddy was that way. He didn't wait to the last minute to do things. And he would always be sitting back chilling. We were like, and we looked outside looking in. We also say, but dad on, don't nothing really move him. He he's so cool, calm, and collected. Well, that was because he handled his business. And so now I see. Now there, I'm still working on a couple of little things. But when you can just, again, that could be your a goal, time management. And like I said, some things you can do instantly. Just like I said, you know, the other day for, for y'all who watched my video about I finally cut off my, my landline. I finally cut off my teeth because I thought to myself, you know what? No, I, it's not really, I'm, it's not, um, Bought, not you know messing with my finances it's, it's not like I couldn't afford it but it was like but why it's such a waste so when I finally did it it was like oh okay I don't I don't miss it at all you know there's there's enough entertainment if you will out there they don't really cost you a dime whether you're looking on YouTube or you're going out and finding things to do in your community, or you just in your house chilling, you read. I'm going to start back reading a little bit more. So again, all those things that we thought, or I'll speak for myself, that I needed to stimulate me and keep me, mm -mm. it don't take all that. It really don't. So when I start looking for, little for time, and I know this is just my life because I don't have pitter patter feet running around here. I don't have children around here. It's just me and, and I'll be flowing and doing me. And I understand a lot of you all have families that are watching me or people that you're still, you know, but again, even, even with that, 
when you handle stuff and take care of stuff, because a lot of times what we'll do, oh, I got plenty of time. I got plenty of time. And then when it's on you, it's like you, you feel like you're going to drown. Again, that could be a goal. Time management. Punctuality. All that stuff. But anyway, like I said, I ain't going to hold y'all too long. I'm, I'm going to try to keep it at 30 minutes. So what y'all think, y'all? What do y'all think about that? Hey, Christopher. Please thumbs up the video. Yes, thank you, Antoinette, for reminding the people, the people, the people, the people. Hey, Kay. What's going on March 2nd, then April? <laughs> so I hope everybody, you know, understands and gets what I'm trying to share and say. Just something thought-provoking. Hey, hope all is well. Hey, Chef. Hey, Q Eats. Overtime. Oh, Q E says overtime. I know. Yep, yeah, that's true. I got to get going to the grocery store mm -hmm. while I'm on break. I heard that. Thank you, Q E. She said, Your home is beautiful. And Kay Love says, good evening, Lady T, and evening, I'm just getting off work. Okay. Glad you're home. If, that's, if you're home, glad you're home. But yes, yes, y'all, I'm being serious, though. I mean, you know, we all can do something to better enhance. But like I said, a lot of times if we're just sitting back, waiting for, you know, everything to appear sometimes we are well not sometimes most of the time because the word tells us we have to put in the work but like i said i just wanted to come on real quick and just share that with y'all and like i said um i went to my eye doctor today and uh so everything is healing well and that's the other thing y'all don't just don't detach your retina because this has been almost whoo almost a year process I did I did this damage to my eye when back in um was it July of last year? Yeah, I think July of last year. So by the time I have where they removed the the oil uh pack out of my eye in April, then probably another month of healing and you know from all that. Yeah, it'll be almost a year. Look, look how time goes by. Time waits for no one. That's why I said, honey, that's the important thing about goals. Aren't we all looking for time? Mm, 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 mm. So, yeah, but time. And there's so much you can accomplish. The way time goes by now, it's almost scary, isn't it? And so that's why I come, I am such a believer even the more now that if you put your mind to it, you know, I know a lot of times, you know, especially young people, <laughs> and I'm not picking on young people, but even us, for folks that are, that are older. And when I say young people, I'm talking about, the, you know, 20 year olds, they're wanting things so quick, quick. Well, so do we, we don't like to wait because we realize our time is dwindling just like theirs. But as I mature and get older, I'm thinking, you know what? Honestly, it does take time for things. But time is going by so quick now. It's almost like, you know what? You go on and do the daggone thing and get your mind focused on whatever goal. I promise you, that time will be zip, zap, go. It'll be here before you know it. And your goal, your dreams, your aspiration, whatever you're believing God to manifest for your life and in your life, you'll look up and it will be here. It'll be upon you. And you'll be like, what? It's just like when I bought this house. I'm like, girl, this July, you will be in this house for five years. Yeah, 20, 19. Okay, so 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. I bought this house July 2019. Does it seem like it's been five years, y'all? 
That's just amazing to me. So I'm just tell, excuse me. So I'm just telling you. Time is is so you know, and some of y'all have been here since I some of y'all have been watching me since way before I even moved over here. Some of y'all have watched me when Lauren was what eight, nine years old. And y'all have seen her graduate. Now she's in college. Isn't that something? Oh my goodness. Sure. So, I mean, you know, so I guess nowadays it just depends on how you look at time and the concept of time. We all really can do anything we put our mind to it. Because there's nothing impossible with God. There is true. I mean, there is nothing too hard for God because I am writing the vision, making it plain for my life. I'm going to chip away at it and be, again, like I said, in that word, intentional, really, truly be intentional. It's really the truth. Meredith says five years. Wow, it sure don't seem. I know, Meredith, I'm telling you. Thank you for sharing some wisdom amen meredith but yeah y'all it's really the truth god can do anything at any time for anybody amen i like the way you said that absolutely absolutely so again like i said uh i'm gonna deuce out on that note because like i said you know it don't take all that tanya to tell all them this it don't take all not to tell them that <laughs> But anyway, I want to just pop in and say hey to y'all because it's been a minute since I've had a live like in the evening because most of the time when I do lives, I'm doing exercise in the morning to get everybody motivated to move. And y'all, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's take two two or three more minutes. Now, y'all know I'm a movie buff. So me, mama, and you know my road dog, which is Kareem, my nephew, me and him, he's my, he's my movie partner. So, but mama is going to jump in and go with us. We're going to go see Godzilla and King Kong this Friday on Good Friday. So, you know, y'all know Easter Sunday resurrection. Uh, Sunday is this coming up a weekend. But yeah, so we're going to do that on Friday. So I'm excited about that. Who's excited to see that movie? Ooh. And I have also been watching the... Um, all hail the queen um it's a, a nature documentary uh and angela bassett is narrating I, now y'all if y'all don't know this about me i love 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 watching nature like national geographic when i tell you i love watching the african lion on the serengeti and the monkeys in the congo and the yeah yeah oh yeah i love it that's one of my bucket lists. I would really love to go on an African safari, but I think I'm going to have to get a little bit more over bug phobia. But, hey, that's a goal. I know that one ain't going to be something I could probably do in 24 hours. I'm just now, it's it's really just taking me, what, probably after the first two years of living here, I I, I can sit outside on my front and, front and back porch pretty much for a long time. But it used to be, y'all, <laughs> bugs. But no, seriously, though. So I'm excited about that. I'm also excited that um, the House of Dragon will be on back on in June. Yes. I like watching fantasy stuff. I don't know. I just do. But anyway, so, yeah, I'm excited about seeing that. And they got a bunch. And then they got... Uh, Planet of the Kingdom of the Kingdom of the Apes. Another one of them movies is coming out in June as well. So it's going to be a hot summer. Now, not just figuratively, it's going to be a hot summer. So y'all better get your skivvies out. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, God can do it. Okay. So yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna let y'all go again. Write your goals down, write the vision, make it plain, and chip away one of them at a time the quickest you can get it done, or you know you can get it done. And when you write those goals, write them, write those goals in an affirmative state. 
So anyway, I just had to share that. But anyway, y'all, y'all have an awesome, awesome week. Of course, for those of you who follow me, look forward to the uploads. Y'all know I like to share and show y'all different things I be doing. <laughs> anyway, I love y'all. Good to see you, Meredith. Good to see you, Amy, Q Eats, all of y'all. Love seeing y'all in my chat. Thank you for being so supportive. Again, thank y'all for supporting me and mom's channel. And y'all, I hear y'all. I hear y'all. I hear y'all. Hey, Phyllis, if you're watching, hey, Phyllis. Miss Phyllis, she checks up on me. She's my Facebook buddy, and she will uh, send me a message uh, in a minute, honey. She be wanting to know what is going on on the flavor train. And like I said, I, I don't know if mom has mentioned it or if I mentioned it. Mom just recently had her whole kitchen redone and downstairs. So it was a lot of demolition going on. Plus, some of us had gotten sick. So, you know, we just didn't go over there bothering her in her way. So I haven't done uh, flavor training in a minute over there because it's just, you know, mom's getting her house together. And she's getting ready to get it painted too, honey. So it'll be probably another stint where we don't do anything. But, you know, it's the summertime. We finna get out of the house, ain't we, y'all? We're fixing to get out of the house. Yes. And do some more doing these. Oh, and I got some exciting places I want to go this year, y'all. So, of course, y'all will come with. But, again, I have to make sure everything clears up and completely heals with my eye, honey, because I ain't going to be too far, too far away from home traveling abroad. And these eyes ain't together. So anyway, y'all, again, I appreciate you. Um, but we're definitely going to do something for Easter Sunday or Sunday dinner. So more, I'm almost certain you, I'll be there. Tony should be there. I'm not sure if Lisa's going to be there, but the family will be there. And we'll be over there cutting up, catching up, cutting up and catching up. How about that? But anyway, I love y'all so much. God bless and may the peace of the Lord be with y'all. All right, Linda, you are doing good with your weight loss. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. And I'm going to just keep on keeping on. I got to. Got to. And you know what? I'm comfortable. I like this size. But like I said, I, I need medically, I need to be 25 more pounds lighter to be in that good medical. Um, a lot of my family... It's telling me, girl, don't lose no more weight, girl. You look fine. You look, you know, you got, you still got a little suppleness about you. But again, as I get older, you can have a little weight on you, but not a whole lot. But anyway, I, I just, you know, I want to, I want to be in that medical based on what's going on with my body. But yeah, I am actually, I'm good and comfortable at this weight, but I do want to, get some of that belly down yes but anyway all right i'm gonna say it five times i love y'all god bless and may the peace of the lord be with you love y'all y'all have a good night and a productive week you can do it listen to your doctor like you are amen i'm doing it i'm doing what the doctor says because they have not stirred me wrong and i tell the lord thank you amen all right, y'all. Have a good night. Love y'all. Bye.